so many golfers out there would love to hit straighter shots with their irons. Well, the good news is you only need three things to be in place down an impact to achieve that. And that's exactly what we're talking about in this video. We're gonna show you what those three things are that you need to hit dead straight iron shots. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden. And if you look at the sky, you'd think it was summer, but if you look at the ground, you can definitely tell it's middle of winter. It's pretty cold, it's frozen. But in this video, we're gonna help you hit straighter iron shots. Now, before we get started, if you're new to my channel, I'd love you to be a subscriber. Uh, so if you aren't, there's a link down in the description box below, or if you'd rather right at the end of the video, there's a clickable link, which will allow you to do just the same. And also, before we get started, because we're talking in this video about hitting straighter shots, I'd love you to let me know in the comments box down below, what is the predominant curve on your shots at the moment? So for me, it's a right to left curve, which yeah, when I'm playing well, it's fantastic, but it can easily turn into a hook or I can easily push the ball out to the right. So what is the curve on your shots? And also, what are you working towards? So we're talking about straighter iron shots. And the good news is there's only three things that you have to have in place in order to hit those dead straight iron shots. What are those three things? Well, firstly, you have to be able to hit the ball from the middle of the golf club. That has to happen. If we don't hit the middle of the golf club, all bets are off. The ball can go in any direction. It can curve whichever way through the air, and we don't really get a huge amount of control over that golf ball. In this video, we're not really gonna to address too much the contact. We're gonna talk very much about the other two aspects in there. So what are those other two aspects? Well, if I was hitting towards the flag in the distance, when my golf club hits the golf ball, I need the path of the golf club to be at that target, at that flag. So the direction my club is traveling needs to be towards my target. When that happens, I need the golf club face to be pointing also towards my target. So we would class that as a neutral path, i.e. straight, and a neutral face. Again, straight. Now, that almost sounds very obvious. That's almost exactly what we'd expect we need. We need the golf club to swing towards the target and we need the club face to point towards the target. It is very obvious. It's just incredibly difficult to do. But we're gonna give you some ideas in the video on how you can do that. What you'll notice on the ground here is I've got two alignment sticks. Now you will notice that they're not perfectly parallel to my target line. This one here is angled towards the right of my target, and this one here is angled towards the left of my target. And this is where we really have to start thinking about the golf swing in its entirety and how it works as a motion. We're talking about a straight club path, a club path which is towards your target. However, in the golf swing, there are no straight lines. So what would the club path be in my golf swing on a perfectly straight shot? Well, the club path would be this. My golf club at this part of my golf swing is traveling down and to the right of my target. So my path is out to the right, 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 pretty straight, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. The golf club is being swung around our body on an arc. The club path therefore is ever changing. The point at where the golf club is traveling towards your target is very, very small. That's why hitting straight shots is incredibly difficult. So we certainly don't want you to think about making goal swings where the club head is traveling straight back and straight through because that is just not going to work. The golf club has to work on this arc. So setting this up is a very, very good starting place. I have to appreciate that the golf club is gonna work down matching this alignment stick. So I can see the club head pretty much parallel to it, but post impact is gonna trace back up this one. There's our first kind of point. We have to understand the concept and what we're trying to do. So how are we going to do that? Let's take a starting position. And when I get to my last parallel in the downswing, so I've made my backswing and I went to the last parallel in the downswing, notice how my club shaft is about parallel to where I'm trying to go. The club head from the camera is pretty much in line with my hands. If we can get this, that's pretty much going to give us the best chance of creating that neutral path down at impact. Notice how the club head is very much inside of my ball to target line. Now the golf club will work out to the target line and then back inwards of that target line. This is how we create that neutral path. Now, we know that attack angle influences this. If you hit down or up, it's gonna change it, but we're really looking at giving you the basis here for hitting the straighter shots. If you're not hitting straight shots, if you're hitting curves to the left or to the right, there's a very, very good chance that when you achieve this last point in the downswing, this club head is gonna be severely outside your hands or it's gonna be severely behind your hands. Now, if you're trying to work on creating a different curve, maybe a right to left or a left to right, that's fine to feel those things and work towards those positions. But if we're looking to hit neutral shots and straight shots, we have to have that golf club pretty much in line with your hands at this point here, then appreciate that the club is working down and out to the ball, and then up and in post impact. Let's go ahead and hit a shot doing that. So I'm just gonna do a little rehearsal 
So I'm going to find that last parallel, club in line with the hands, and now I can feel that club working down, out, up and in. And that ball's pretty much landed, maybe a couple of yards left of my flag. So if we can do that, if we can practice this, that's going to help us with our path. It's going to help our path get more neutral. What we then need to do is make sure that that club face is perfectly aligned at impact, and that's how we get our straight shots. So we're now talking about the club face and how we get that matched up to our path. If we can get the path and the face agreeing at our target, we hit pretty straight shots and the game becomes considerably easier. So how do we control club face? Well, there's two real ways that you're going to control the face in your goal swing. One is how you apply your hands to the golf club. And then two is how you use your wrist angles through that goal swing. So for most golfers, if we're looking to hit the ball pretty straight and we need that face pretty neutral, we need the grip fairly neutral. So I've done this multiple times before, but this by far for me is the best grip drill that you can do to help you establish whether your grip is neutral. You're going to take a tee peg and you're going to place that tee peg into the crease between your thumb and your index finger on your lead hand. And when you take your hold on the golf club and you have the golf club up in front of you, I want the leading edge of that club to be vertical and I want the tee peg to also be vertical. If that tee peg is either side of the handle, that is going to indicate that your grip is weak if it's in front of the handle and strong if it's behind the handle. That little exercise will also work in the trail hand as well. So you can see as I place my right hand on, again, that tee peg is very much, very much down that golf club there, very neutral. So having a neutral grip is going to give you probably the best chance to achieve that neutral club face position. Having a neutral grip, which I've got now, doesn't guarantee anything because I can use my hands, my wrists, and I can twist that face through a very open position, through a very closed position, and obviously somewhere between those two, there's a pretty neutral position. So having a good neutral grip gives us a chance, but it doesn't guarantee anything. So where do we want that golf club in the golf swing? Well, this is what I want you to try and feel. As you get to the top, I want you to have your lead wrist pretty flat. So you can see that there. As you transition to this last parallel, what we spoke about before, where we had the club in line with the hands, I want the club face pretty neutral, which would be vertical with the grooves or slightly turning down towards the ground. Either of those is fine. It might change a little bit on what you do through impacts. It will depend a little bit on how much handle lean you have. But if we can get the golf club into that position, that's going to be pretty good for most golfers. And it's going to help you do exactly what we're trying to do. So we've still got these alignment sticks on the floor because that's helping me visualize the path. I've got my neutral grip. I've got my flat wrist at the top and I translate that flat wrist to this position here where my wrist is still flat and I've got those grooves very, very slightly turned down towards the ground. From there, if I can use that club face and use my path drills that we've already done, we should be well on our way to hit straight shots. It will take time, it will take practice, it will take hours, it will take lots of balls being hit and it might take some uncomfortable swings and some swings out of your comfort zone. But if you can work towards these elements, you can start to control the face, control the path that's how we hit straight shots. The golfers that you see on TV who hit the straight shots very simply have very good control of path, they have very good control of face, and they have very good control of strike. That's what we need to try and do. Okay, let's finish off this video with a shot. I'm going to hit towards this target. I'm going to try and pick this ball off the top because, as you can hear, pretty frozen underneath. I can hardly feel my hands. So uh, provided I make half decent contact, the ball goes towards that flag, I'll be pretty happy. Okay, I even managed to take a tiny little divot and it didn't hurt that much. So uh, yeah, try and pick the ball a little bit cleaner when you're playing in frosty conditions like we are today. Straight iron shots will probably help you play better, enjoy the game more, and you'll probably hit the ball further if you are currently playing with some curves. So I hope that video helps you. Let me know in the comments box. We'd love to hear your feedback, whether it did help you and whether that's helped you shoot lower scores join your rounds of golf. Thanks for watching. Usual stuff is below. And like I said at the start, if you're not a subscriber, would love you to be so. Subscription link down below. Also, a clickable link over here. Uh, would love to see you part of my channel moving forward. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.